Welcome to QNOW Videos. Today I'm going to talk about the Alaris pump. It's a modular system and I'll go through the separate uh, modules. So we start with the CPU, so that stands for Central Processing Unit and that's what the brains of the, of the operation is. On the back you have a power cord, a clamp, a access point for data and this button here is to lock out the front screen if you need to. On the side you have a connector for the modules and they connect at the top and bottom. One side is a male that sticks out, the other side is a female that gets pushed in and down the bottom here we have a releasing mechanism. So I'll go, I'll go through each module. First we have an LVP, you can tell because it's a blue module and it takes the uh, giving set through the middle. The way we connect them is insert the male end of the module into the CPU at a 45 degree angle and just click down and lock on. When you hear it click, that's locked in, ready to go. So that's the blue module. The next module we have is a grey module and that's the syringe driver. So it, you can tell the difference between the LVP and the syringe driver. It has a little toggle at the top to open these things like bunny ears and it also releases the plunger to go up and down. The way we put it on is the same, on a 45 degree angle and then snap it in shut. All right. It has a front guide here, this determines how big the syringe is and also this little grey flap here holds the flange of a syringe which I'll show you later when we load it up. The last module that we have is a PCA module. So that's denoted by the purple colour. It has this lockable door. Now, the way we take off these pumps is we press a blue button on the module to its right and it lifts off and just disengages it like so. But when we've got the PCA, if we put it on the left side over here, Here's a big, big machine. Click it in. To unclick it, you would have to use the module before its release button. So what that means is someone, if they've got morphine or narcotics, they can just take that and run away. So we've turned off the function to use it on this side, and you can only put it on the right-hand side of the pump as you're looking at it, like so. So the release mechanism is actually behind this locked door. So you have to open the door, push the button down to slide it off, like so. And I'll just put it back on, like that. All right. Now, that's the module system. It can take four modules. So you can put another syringe driver, LVP, on it, and it'll make the four up. There's the buttons on the front. They're the actual screen isn't a uh, touch screen. You have to soft press these keys on the sides and down the bottom. The first button we want is system on. So we click on that. And what will happen, it does a self test. Check all the lights are working. Make sure all the lights come on the front. And then you hear a beep. So that means it's done a self check. It's safe to use. First screen we have is, is this a new patient? So we click on the top left here and go yes. Then we click um, its profiles. We have um, different profiles. In the moment, at the moment it says med surge, but I'm gonna click no just to show you all the profiles. So we have critical care, med surge, oncology, pediatric, adult training, and if I page down, I have pediatric training too. They're good if you're teaching anyone new to use these pumps. Do it in the training mode because the data that's collected in here is used um, for working out incidences and errors, which we'll discuss later. So I'll go back up this page. We'll go to adult training. Press confirm. Okay. Now the each module comes up as A, B, C, and if we had four, it would be D. If I took this end module off you'll see the, num the letters reconfigure. So the LVP becomes A and then PCA becomes B. If 
I'll put this back on, they'll reconfigure again for the syringe driver to be A, the LVP will be B, and the PCA will be C. So why is that important? Because when we come to the main screen here, you'll have an A, B, C on the side. Before you can activate any module, you have to start on that module, not the CPU. You can't just start pressing buttons here because nothing will happen because it's a safety factor. You want to be able to check the fluids that are going through. That's the right thing you want, that's the right pump you're looking for. So if I did um, the syringe driver, I'd press channel select first. That will flash. Then it'll come up here and say install the syringe. So I'll grab myself a syringe. So here we use BD plastic, 60 mil syringes. Lift up my rabbit ears as high as I can. Load the syringe under the flange. Turn my rabbit ears down. Now don't push too hard because you'll plung, put the plunger in. Then put my front guide on. And then it will tell me everything is good to go. Then I'll press channel select. And it will ask what syringe selection. I'll say BD plastic because that's what we're using. Press confirm. Then it gives me three options, guardrails, drugs, IV, guardrails, IV fluids, or basic infusion. The hospital has made a data set that has uh, most of the medications we use in it, and it's all under guardrails, which is a safety medication system. If you use the medication outside in basic mode, you are taking responsibility for yourself and not... Um, you're not working inside the hospital policy. So if you do have a drug error, it'll be on your own head, not hospital responsibility. Now, because I took more than 20 seconds, it turned itself off. So I want to choose guardrails drugs. So I have a list of drugs here. I have a menu, an A to E, E to F, just the quick keys. So if I wanted heparin, I'd have to go into the E to F, F to J, sorry. Find heparin. So yes, heparin. So I'm touching these side buttons here. It tells me my concentration. Yes, I'm happy with that. So I can press yes. Gives me this green screen. They're advisory. Not all medications have them. Just ones that have something important to say about the medication. Press confirm through that. Then check that all the fluids um, and solutions are correct. And then press next. Then it will come up to these three buttons. We'll have rate, volume to be infused, and dose. While they're white, you can't change it. To change anything, you've got to click on it to make it go black. Now I can change the rate. When I'm happy with all that, we'll press start. Now, to know that the infusion is going, there's a green line at the top here. It'll tell you in the mils per hour the speed it's going at. And to know you're in guardrails, you'll have writing across the front screen. So you see this, we'll say heparin, 1,500 units an hour. So that's the basis of the pump. Next episode, we'll talk about PCAs. How long is that? Shoes off. It was eight minutes. She, she too long. Standing too long. No, it's good. Okay. If I'll just, we're I'll just online, we're, we're trying to engage people. It's different, but not yeah. here. Oh, can't stand still at these shoes for that long. Um, can I get away? Yeah. yeah. We'll just... Thank you, Now, can we just go back and there are some... It's recording again.